You can you can uh, put on the aviators. <laughs> There you go. Okay, cool. Right. Okay, next topic. Okay, so, um, right now, yeah, you know, in uh, Israel and Palestine, there's like mm -hmm. a big whole like thing going on. All right, it's like it's <laughs> so, a war. Yeah, and it's a very like yeah. complex topic. It's been it's been going on for like decades, like so seven decades, mm -hmm. right? Arguably hundreds of years. Yeah, true. Thousands. Yeah. Because yeah. literally, yeah. like when the Romans historically invaded, thousands. Yeah. Yeah. thousands. That's right. Definitely. Right. So, like, do you think American involvement, like, is, like, a good thing? Or, like, should we be involved? Should we be more involved, less involved, or the right amount of involved? Do you I'll say, first of all, what we saw from Hamas, yeah. breaking every rule of international law right. in terms of targeting civilians, mm -hmm. targeting civilians. Yeah. Um, this has got to be something that is condemned by everybody. I don't care if you're on the right or the left, right. or what you're feeling about Gaza is or about Israel, we have a line that can't be crossed and slaughtering children, young people at a rock concert, uh, grandmas, you know, uh, raping people. This is something that is inexcusable and barbaric and could, should never be celebrated or tolerated. Right. Israel right now, they have like a military blockade, right? On Gaza and like the food can't get in. They are water. allowing humanitarian supplies through. The problem is, and I don't want to get into a whole thing about this, but I right. suggest that you, you know, read up. The, the Gazans are shooting from civilian locations on purpose. I mean, not the Gazans, Hamas is shooting from civilian locations in Gaza. They are holding hostages. Um, they did this knowing full well that Israel was going to have to respond. Mm -hmm. uh, and they did that putting their own citizens very much um, in harm's way. Many people will say on purpose to provoke a response. Right. Uh, you know, imagine, so Israel's a small country, mm -hmm. the number of people that were killed may sound small to us, not that any death is small, but in the terms of their population, it's huge. Right. Imagine if Canada all of a sudden came in, went to a giant concert, went to Coachella, yeah. killed all the kids, uh, started shooting rockets, what the US response would be, and then say, why do we expect Israel somehow to have a different- the right, that's a good question. What is the right response? But my follow-up to that would be, well, we know what the what isn't the right response is, and that's bombing children. Gaza, 50% of the population is under 18. If, like, okay, look, so basically, yeah, there are some Hamas terrorists in Gaza. That's clear. Right. It's a city. There's schools, the hospitals, you know, infrastructure. There's millions of kids, not millions, hundreds of thousands, a million, because the population is roughly 2 million. So a million kids. If you, so I, to be honest, I'm, I'm just against bombing children. Well, sure, nobody. I don't want any of the civilians yeah. to be bombed. I agree. I agree. And I, 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 think it's awful that Israel's in this position. Yeah. Golda Meir, who was a former prime minister of Israel um, during some of this similar, similar attacks, yeah. she had a quote, and I don't, I don't have it memorized, but mm. it's something along the lines of, "We can forgive you for killing our children. We can't forgive you for making us kill your children." Um, which I think shows a lot of the Jewish feelings and mentality about this. That's true. But do you well, think that yeah. Israel could have handled it better in terms of getting into Gaza instead of uh, like sending drone strikes and carpet bombing? I don't know. No. Mm -hmm. True. Okay, so obviously what Hamas did well, okay, should yeah, be condemned, yeah. right? But, but I think if both sides murder children, both sides are bad. That's uh, my, okay, my but, personal right. opinion. But. So, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Of my, my question is to it's to, uh, we yeah. condemn like uh, what Hamas did yeah. you know you should never like kill children or what, and stuff like that but um, some could argue that like the conditions that um, Gaza, the Gaza was in right the Gaza Strip mm -hmm. the conditions that they were kept in and some described it as an open-air prison mm -hmm. right that kind of uh, installed a lot of anger in, in these young men and that kind of provoked them to to do these things now, it's not condoning it, but do you think it, the way that they were, you know, handled in that situation by Israel could have perhaps played a role in what Hamas? I think did? that we should not be justifying the slaughter of. Oh yeah, of course not. We're not justifying no, but, but it at to all. Say, but but you are. Well, but you're no, saying we're just you giving were, it like a reason. But, you, but just a second ago, you were justifying the innocent 
uh, the, the killing of innocent civilians. Yeah, so I'm not justifying it. I'm saying that. <laughs> you know, you can't. Wait a second. I'm saying yeah. that there's <laughs> a. You can't choose a side. I'm, I'm saying I'm that there's a nation an that was attacked oh, by another right. government. Mm -hmm. By, right. they were under attack. These are nations. As though, like I said, yeah. if Canada came and attacked us and <laughs> and launched weapons at us, that's the situation we're talking about. Well, right, but Canada isn't held in like this, you know, little area when what people well, consider I think, like an Look, I don't want to get into a whole debate over Jewish history. I don't right. think that any of us are prepared to do that. But you need to look at the historical reasons that this place is what it is there right. and the role of other other Middle Eastern nations in terms of refugees from that area and the attempts over the years to create a two-state solution and the idea is that they have their own place, mm -hmm. right? Um, uh, and the situation right now is completely deteriorating and untenable. Right. And every civilian um, is in the crossfire from something that Hamas set into motion.